Hi there. My name is Jelani Aladdin. You may know me from Disney's Frozen on Broadway or Public Works' musical adaptation of Hercules. I am an alumni and artistic ambassador of TheaterWorks USA. In honor of Read Aloud Day today, I'd like to read to you a selection from Dr. DeSoto. Dr. DeSoto refused to treat animals dangerous to mice, and it said so on his sign. When the doorbell rang, he and his wife would look out the window. They wouldn't admit even the most timid looking cat. One day when they looked out, they saw a well-dressed fox with a flannel bandage around his jaw. I cannot treat you, sir, Dr. DeSoto shouted. Sir, haven't you read my sign? Please, the fox wailed. Have mercy, I'm suffering. And he wept so bitterly, it was pitiful to see. Just a moment, said Dr. DeSoto. That poor fox, he whispered to his wife. What shall we do? Let's risk it, said Mrs. DeSoto. She pressed the buzzer and let the fox in. He was up the stairs in a flash. Oh, bless your little hearts, he cried, falling to his knees. I beg you, do something. My tooth is killing me. Sit on the floor, sir, said Dr. DeSoto, and remove the bandage, please. Dr. DeSoto climbed up the ladder and bravely entered the fox's mouth. Oh, wow, he gasped. The fox had a rotten bicuspid and unusually bad breath. The tooth will have to come out, Dr. DeSoto announced, but we can make you a new one. Just stop the pain, whimpered the fox, wiping away some tears. Despite his misery, he realized he had a tasty little morsel in his mouth, and his jaw began to quiver. Keep open, yelled Dr. DeSoto. Wide open, yelled his wife. I'm giving you gas now, said Dr. DeSoto. You won't feel a thing when I yank that tooth. Soon, the fox was in dreamland. Mmm, yummy, he mumbled. How I love them raw, with just a pinch of salt and a dry white wine. They could guess what he was dreaming about. Mrs. DeSoto handed her husband a pole to keep the fox's mouth open. Dr. DeSoto fastened his extractor to the bad tooth. Then he and his wife began turning the winch. Finally, with a sucking sound, the tooth popped out and hung, swaying in the air. I'm bleeding, the fox yelped when he came to. Dr. DeSoto ran up the ladder and stuffed some gauze in the hole. The worst is over, he said. I'll have your new tooth ready by tomorrow. Be here at 11 sharp. The fox, well, still woozy, said goodbye and left. On his way home, he wondered if it would be shabby of him to eat the DeSotos when the job was done. Thank you guys for reading with me, and I hope this encourages you to pick up a book and read yourself. Stay tuned for TheaterWorks USA's new play, Dr. DeSoto and Other Stories by William Stegg.